Hi Aries, welcome to your love connection reading for the first part of October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media, decks I'm using, playlists, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you, thank you. My returning subscribers also for your support. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is greatly appreciated. So all the support that you give the channel is greatly appreciated, helps the channel out to grow so we can get the messages out here to the people that need to hear them. So thank you so much for being a part of that. Okay, so this is for Aries, first part of October. Let's see what we have for Aries Love Connection. And this can be any type of connection with anybody that you have in mind at this time. So no specific type of connection. You don't have to be married. You don't have to be committed. Um, you, it can be any sort of connection you think you have with somebody. Um, and uh, whoever you have in mind. So has to be some form of connection. So... Um, not you just like somebody and they don't even know you exist. It has to be some form of connection. Here. Okay, so let's see what we have for Aries. This is a Zodiac Oracle. <clears throat> so we may get, oh, we've got one already. Could be a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So we have air energy. So that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or they could have it somewhere in their chart, if you know their chart at all. But the air energy is all about truth, clarity, communication, imagination, the mind, learning, um, and that sort of energy. You know, standing up for what you believe in and things of that nature. So cutting away things no longer serving you, being very truthful and honest. So... <clears throat> we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, Aries. Let's see for Aries. We'll get an overall love connection energy card, and then we'll get one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling towards each other, and about the connection. All right. For Aries, a love connection reading spirit, please. First half of October for Aries. What is the mutual love connection energy like? That's two. I just want one. One card for Aries, please. All right. So I think I'm going to take this one here. So we have finances and career here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So hmm, something's going on here with finances and career. So maybe it's somebody that you um, have a connection with in your work environment um, or something like that. Uh, or if you are in a relationship, I know there is some sort of finances and career. Uh, if you are married or in a committed relationship, maybe your person is working long hours or you are and it's affecting your um, connection. Or if your person, uh, if you're not even involved, maybe they have personal issues right now and one of them factors are their finances and career and maybe for some reason it's, reason it's preventing the two of you from being together for some reason. I don't know, we'll see. So how is Aries feeling in this connection and about their person? So the finances and career, um, that's very earthy. So, I mean, they could also either be an air sign or an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Charles, or Capricorn. All right, so we have two here. So how you are feeling in this connection and about your person, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Sorry about the glare there. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So you're wanting to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your person here discuss how you are feeling about the situation but then your person has make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so they they definitely want to make the effort here with you 
So if you've approached them about having, you know, we need to talk, have some conversations, uh, maybe, maybe if you are uh, partnered up or committed or whatever here, maybe something is happening in your finances and career and you really need to come together and talk about what you need to do moving forward. So, well, then we have codependency at the bottom here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, um, my stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> it's about quarter of six and I haven't eaten yet. So, um, I don't know. There could be some codependency issues here. Maybe one of you works and the other one doesn't. Maybe you, Aries, are the one that works, um, and your person doesn't and you you know or vice versa maybe one of you work and the other one doesn't maybe one is codependent on the other and it's really affecting the finances and career because you both are not working so you don't have that double um, money coming in so you know maybe you know maybe you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that hey you know you need to make more effort you need to get off your butt and go work or Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You know, and that's the truth and clarity of the situation right there with air is being open, honest, and having truthful conversations, communication, the air energy. So they don't have to be an air sign necessarily or an earth sign. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling like you need to tell your person that they need to maybe get off their butt and uh, maybe they're co too codependent on you maybe you are the breadwinner there are you know male or female there are males that stay home maybe you you know you have children and uh, one stays home takes care of the children but it's just not uh, it's not enough um, you know you need that double income okay so let's see because you also see, well, they're like little angels, cherubs, fairies, but there's children in this card, too. So you could have children. Maybe one stays home and the other uh, works. And you could be the female that's working because you see finances and career here with the female, you know, working, sort of. <laughs> All right, so let's get one for Aries. Well, we have the devil here. So this is Capricorn energy. So this can can speak of codependency issues. Um, can speak of toxic um, energy um, or addictions, obsessions, just negative behavior. You know, depression, fear, that kind of energy. So let's get one for your person. So now we have the Ace of Cups. So. You know, this could be a new relationship, maybe, um, is that blurry? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, so this is water. So they could be a Capricorn, or they could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, this is a brand new beginning in love. So maybe you're newly married, or you're newly living together here, but they definitely do have love for you. There definitely is love here on their side, but I think you're feeling it more as a toxic energy because they're more dependent on you. All right, so let's uh, clarify here. Let's clarify why is the devil here for you, Aries? And clarify why the devil is here for Aries in this situation. Princess of Cups. So it's water energy. So they definitely could be a water sign. Uh, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the Princess of Cups, this is the um, Page of Cups. So this is about communication. So I definitely feel like here, you definitely want to have heart to heart conversations with this person and tell them, if I can get my cards straight here. And, uh, you know, tell them how you're truly feeling, but coming like from a loving, compassionate sort of energy. I'm not getting like a really nasty, like 
negative feeling from the devil energy. I'm feeling it more as you're doing all the work and they're staying at home doing nothing. Even if they're taking care of the children, I, I still feel like it's still affecting your finances and career. And you both need to have that income coming in, even if you have to get a babysitter um, or something like that. Or maybe you may have family that may volunteer to uh, help with the children if you have children. But, you know, this is the uh, heartfelt conversations here with the Princess of Cups. So you definitely want conversations with them and tell them, look, you know, we can't go on like this. Uh, so... All right, so let's get one to clarify the Ace of Cups for your person. Oh, and the Ace of Wands, wow. So <laughs> this definitely is a new either uh, living together sort of situation or just married or something like that. But this is a lot of passion here, brand new. And this is two brand new beginnings here on their side. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, that is your energy, Leo Sagittarius. So they definitely could be uh, a water sign or a Capricorn or the devil. It's just the energy of this codependent energy. So I definitely feel like they do have a lot of love and passion for you. And I think whatever conversation you have, they're going to want to put in the effort here to um, make things better. So um, I think it has to come from a loving compassionate place. Uh, they may be a little sensitive because they do have cups here. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is now for you, Aries. For you, Aries. What is the actual situation for Aries? Ten of Swords, wow. Prince of Cups. So now we have the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Cups. Wow. So they definitely could be a water, or they could be a fire sign with heavy water in their chart, or vice versa, water with uh, fire in their chart. But the Ten of Swords here, it's like, you know, this is an ending, painful, hurtful ending. I feel like I'm not getting so much of an ending. I think the Ten of Wands belongs here more than the Ten of Swords. But I feel like you're just worn out, you're... Um, just worn out and burdened and uh, stress out, stressed out and, you know, you just need to, these codependent ways just need to end. And you're definitely feeling that heavily here, the ear energy of having that truthful, honest, open conversation, communication here. And connected to them is the King of Cups. So there definitely could be a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So... Definitely somebody who has love, emotions, feelings. You know, they may be sensitive. Like I said, cups can be sensitive here. So you may have to go about this gentle with them, and sort of. Uh, but then you have the Knight of Cups here connecting the two of you. So that's the action. Um, taking the action and the steps forward. Having this communication. I feel like it's a very loving, passionate connection here. But there needs to be some changes as in your uh, living arrangements or whatever you're doing here. I feel like one is putting in all the effort career-wise and the other one is not. So there needs to be equality here. So, all right. So, let's see. And again, with the Prince of Cups is taking that loving, loving action forward. Um compassionate energy also communication with the princess of cups all right so let's get some clarifiers for this so we have the nine of pentacles here so sometimes this can be a single energy but i'm getting that you are the one the only one working <laughs> if that makes sense for some of you like you're the breadwinner the knight of pentacles is someone who's very stable secure independent makes their own money, uh, secure, stable on their own here. So I definitely feel like you're the breadwinner here in this situation, male, female here, that's earth energy. Then you get the lovers on their side. So, I mean, this is soulmate energy here, Gemini now. So this is two people coming together, sharing a loving union, soulmate energy. So they definitely, wow, they definitely love, love you a lot. 
lot of passion and love on their side. And I think they love you so much that, you know, maybe they just been kind of going with the flow and, you know, and I don't know if they're lazy or if they just, you know, thought everything was fine. I don't know if you take care of the finances also while they, you know, just kind of, you know, maybe they cook, clean, take care of the kids, do the laundry, everything. And um, they just thought everything was fine and maybe you didn't really tell them uh, that you were having financial issues. Maybe you were afraid to tell them or didn't want to tell them. I don't know here. So let's get some advice for you, Aries. How should you approach this person? What is the advice for Aries? Okay, so we have, wow, well, we have the Prince of Swords, air energy here, and the Eight of Cups. So... The Prince of Swords like rushes in. It's kind of like uh, speaking truths, clarity kind of rushes in. Sometimes can be rush in and cause havoc and trouble unknowingly, like not really meaning to do that, but that's just how they come across. So, and, but then you have the Eight of Cups energy, which is an energy of walking away uh, from something unfulfilling. So, I don't know if you might tell them that <laughs> if you don't step up to the plate that I may walk away uh, I, I don't know maybe you need to scare them a little bit but um, I don't know let's get some clarifiers here so I see so much love and passion on their side but on your side it's all swords and pentacles but you do have the page of cups so um, I don't or, you know, I'm getting this message of, you know, you're needing to tell them here they need to get up and take action. The Eight of Cups, you know, walks away from energies that are no longer serving or fulfilling. So you need to tell them that how how they're living now, their, you know, their actions now, what's going on now. They need to step away from that energy and get up and take movement towards um, something. <laughs> Whether it's going out looking for a job or making money of some kind. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Why is... Okay, so the Prince of Swords. So we have the Hierophant here. So this is Taurus and it's on your side. It's a very committed energy, marriage. So you definitely could be married to this person or committed in some way. And though, you know, this is doing what's morally right. Um, ethics, value that sort of thing, um, doing things by the book. So um, definitely could be committed here or marriage. That usually does represent marriage. So let's get one uh, for your card, for your person, for your card, for your person. So the magician. So we have the magician here. So they will, if you tell, if you tell them, look, you need to exactly step up to the plate and walk towards manifesting something new here, rather than doing what you're doing now, I think they will have no problem with that. They will manifest here some sort of new beginning here with the magician. It's a brand new beginning. So, you know, you need to just tell them here with the Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords, just, you know, kind of just step up to the plate, tell them like it is, say, look, I think, you know, we're having issues. You need to help out. You need to find a job. You need to do something here and they'll be okay. All right, I'll take all my energy here and manifest something here. Yep. All right, so because they love you so much, they you know they're and they they want to make that effort, and they may think they're making that effort now by whatever the situation is now, whatever you know you guys are doing. Like I said, if they're just staying at home, cleaning, cooking, taking care of the kids. Um, would you do everything else, taking care of the bills, the finances, working? Uh, they're they're, they're going to make that effort and help out. So exactly, the Six of Pentacles. So there will be equal equality. And I had said that earlier. There will be, and Spirit told me the Six of Pentacles, all the Justice card, you will get that. And I didn't say it, but here's the Six of Pentacles. So Spirit was right. And <laughs> so Spirit's like, you didn't listen to me. And I told you, and here it is. So this is Earth energy, but it doesn't have to be. So equal give and take, equality, 
both giving equally here, making pentacles equally here, finances and career. Wow. So, yep. And they will manifest something. They will get up their, off their butt. You got to tell them you got to get up, start taking action. Eight of cups. Eights are about action. And um, go do something here. So let's get clarifiers for this. So now we have the world. Wow, that's nice. And we have the sun. Wow. So earth energy here with the world. And then we have the sun, which is Leo. So things will shift and change. A whole new chapter will start. All the energy, how you've been doing things now, will come to a close. And all new beginnings will start. A whole new cycle for the two of you with the world energy. And then you have the sun. So there'll be happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, growth and abundance, happy home and family. So everything positive with the sun energy here. A very positive outcome. They'll, they'll do whatever they want to do, whatever it takes. They want to make the effort. They'll put in equal give and take and equality here and a whole new cycle will start there'll be growth expansion forgiveness well not forgiveness but um right he well that is forgiving and healing and uh success and victory so let's see so again with the equality here with temperance sagittarius so this is about equality balancing having patience with each other the eight of wands so again this is communication action travel you know movement so they will get up and take movement here and they'll be you know you'll light a fire under their butt and they'll get up and boom and take action and there's that travel action communication and going after it princess of swords so this is the page of swords so they may do research online you know what can i do you know how can i earn an income uh, maybe getting back to what they used to do if they haven't worked for a very long time. Maybe going back to school. Maybe, you know, just doing something here. Research online of some kind. Learning. Six of Wands. So they are, again, success, victory. So you got the Four of Pentacles here. So again, I do feel like the finances and career here, holding on to every little penny, dime, dollar, you know, trying to make ends meet trying to hold on to the stability here in the relationship but here's wish fulfillment happiness and joy so happiness and joy um wish fulfillment you no know, right now you're holding on to every little penny trying to make ends meet holding on to your foundation stability but there will be success in victory they may do research here uh learning online or back to school taking some courses taking that action very passionately and things will be very balanced here now moving forward. Wow. All right. So let's get some extra messages here for you, Aries. This may not be a message for everybody, so keep that in mind. So take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. All right, extra messages for Aries, first half of October, love connection reading. And if you're obviously watching this and you're having financial troubles, but you're not sure what to do, how to approach a person, then you're probably watching this for a reason and this is probably resonating for you. Okay, so we have understanding. So again, you will come to a mutual understanding. You will have those open, honest conversations communication heart to hearts here seven forty three is seven divinely guided number spiritual number you will have a mutual understanding of what you need to do moving forward and then <laughs> congratulations success nine and three is twelve and then th that is three and that's teamwork collaboration working together so again success here success here with the sun we have the world here which is a whole new cycle starting. You have the Six of Wands under here again, which is success. Wow. Is there anything else for Aries? Focus. So, yep. 17, 8, again, about taking that action movement forward. And focus. I think they'll be so focused here on your situation, on your relationship, on how to, how to approve things. 
what they can do moving forward, transitioning into their new lifestyle, their new you know, work ethic and things like that. They'll be very, very focused on you, them, their career, their newly career, getting back into the swing of things, having that focus on this here. Wow. They'll be very determined and focused. Yeah, so we have chaos here. So, and that is number nine. So I just feel like here that uh, maybe, you know, you're probably not telling them the turbulent situation you're in financially and you need to have a heart to heart about that. You need to focus on that. So let's see what's on the bottom. I just feel like shuffling. Tell me to shuffle. I usually do the bottom, but all right. So letting go. So this is letting go of the old ways and uh, embracing new ways. So 22, which is two people coming together, working together, and then four, stability foundation. So, you know, letting go of old ways and transforming and having new beginnings and embracing the new. Yep, embracing the new. So I do see here things will get better. There needs to be heart to heart about your actual situation, what you need to move forward. Do move forward to improve your situation. And I see they'll be really focused on doing what they need to do moving forward. So I don't think you have to worry about that. Okay, Aries, if this didn't resonate for you, check the description box below for past playlist. You may find something there that resonates for you. If you do and something catches your eye, watch it anyway. Disregard the titles. I do consider them all timeless. If you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. The more likes, shares, whatever, um, it will help the videos to circulate and help the channel out. So I would appreciate that. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. That's four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you here in your situation, in your person. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.